So we just had a long day of plumbing. And so I'm gonna show you some of the plumbing fixtures and connections that we have for the ADU as well as the garage. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around, walk you through. So we actually just got quite a bit of rain, a little thunderstorm during the summer. Okay, so let me show you the stub out right here. This is our one inch gas stub. So we're gonna go underground and connect to the meter. We're getting a new meter installed in the next couple weeks. There's our get our water connection. So that's gonna run over to the main on the front of the house as well. We come back inside. So here's the inside of the gas main. So we go from one inch to the little galvanized nipple sticking out. Then we turn the black pipe. And then we have an adapter and we go to a uh, Ward Flex line. So that's that little adapter that goes to the flex. Come all the way up into the rafters. You see we started to put some of the rigid insulation in. So at this point we tee off into the ADU and then this part of the line still needs to be fastened. Comes over, drops down, steps outside for the water heater. So if we go back over into the ADU, is our gas line still three quarter? Comes over through that rafter and we teed and came down here into the laundry. So here's our gas line for the laundry. It's gonna be stackable, so that's why that's so high. This is a little dryer vent. So they're pretty cool, dryerbox.com. You can check them out. It kind of allows you just to like push your dryer straight back into there, and then you can use a little flex line, go up and we'll run a rigid four inch all the way through to the top. And then over on this side, we have our peat trap, our vent, and also the hot and cold water for the washer and dryer. Over here is our PEX to copper connections, stub out for the vanity, the laboratory. And then, Put a little delta valve in there for the tub shower. All pecs again, and then it goes up and there's our stub out for the shower head. Moving over towards the kitchen. So there's that three quarter transition to uh, half inch T. So we went from three quarter, we reduced down to a half inch T where we came out for the washer dryer, or for the dryer, which is right here. And we come straight across and down here for the range. Okay. Don't look at all this electrical nightmare. That's just temporary that I pulled out of the old garage and left there for the construction. This is the kitchen sink, so basically just the drain and vent. Just came straight up and then stubbed out right there. We have the hot and cold water. So that's about it. All I have left to do is install a six inch duct for the range, range hood. Four inch duct should appear for the dryer. And then we're gonna put an exhaust fan in here. And that'll also have a little four inch duct that are all going straight up through the roof. A couple other things here on the tub. 
So I have to go from two inch down to an inch and a half and then install the P-trap and do that connection there, the rough end connection for the tub drain. Uh, but right here, this is a vent for the tub. This is the toilet vent, which is, I think code is two inch. Now, everything else is inch and a half. The dryer is also, or the washer is also two inch right here. But kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and washer or bathtub is inch and a half. Then we installed a wet vent. So basically, the shower vent comes up, transitions over, and then goes up. And what that basically does is just uh, eliminates having so many pipes stubbed through. Uh, in the old days, they used to vent, wet vent, like a lot of things together. But if you notice, um, this piece right here has to run at an angle. So it, it's higher on this side, runs down a little bit, and what that does is prevents either condensation or rain. Like, let's say if it came in, prevents it if it was running uphill or if it was flat, water would just sit inside there. So you want it to run downhill and get out. And then here we are outside the ADU. This is the step out for the hot water heater. So there's another line right here that the, the gas will stub out. So you have gas, hot, cold, and for the test, we're just gonna go ahead and cap those so that we can do the inspection test. So you see we got some water running down and I think tomorrow I'm gonna run down and get a bunch of rolls of 15 pound felt and just go ahead and felt the, the roof. I wasn't expecting that we'd get rain this weekend, but we did. So as you can see, it's a pretty tight little site here. And so we're shifting things around. And now that we've got the plumbing uh, about 90% roughed in, uh, we're gonna start with electrical next week and hopefully get the rest of the mechanical in with the ducts, the ducting. So then once we have the mechanical uh, package with all the plumbing electrical and HVAC, I also need to get my HVAC guy in here to run the line sets for the split unit, the mini split. So I'll post a little video of how that goes in. Um, basically, we're gonna run uh, the electrical for him. So we'll run a 10-2 Romex from the panel. I think it's a 20 amp, 20 or 30 amp, I'll have to look. That will run over to a little disconnect that'll be right next to the compressor outside and he can run his line sets and then once uh, we get inspection we'll go ahead and do the insulation uh, we can drywall and then he can come back and finish the installation of the HVAC but I'll post a video you guys can see how that goes in and also the electrical next week we're gonna run separate panels so we'll have a, a new sub panel in the garage for electric vehicle charger as well as just the circuits within the garage and then we're gonna have a hundred amp panel that comes over to the ADU where we can run the entire ADU as well as the air conditioner so that's about it uh, look forward to the next update and if you have any questions or comments go ahead and post them thanks